selling more than 70 million discs, made her one of America's all-time female singing champions. Although this living legend rewrote the pages of the record books, it all began on a backwoods farm in heart-wrenching poverty. Once in a while, will you try to give one little thought to me? Though someone else may be nearer Celebrating her 40th anniversary in show business, Patti Page can look back at an impressive musical memoir. It began in Claremore, Oklahoma. She was born Clara Ann Fowler, the second youngest of 11 children. The family faced incredible poverty. When you don't have something, you don't miss it. You know, we had plenty to eat because my mother and father grew all the food. We weren't hungry. We got one serving and that was it. There were times when I would want more, but... We knew that that wasn't there. How much is that joggy in the window? The one with the waggly chair. I never really thought about singing as a, a way to make my way. I wanted to be a commercial artist. I don't know what the word commercial meant, uh, other than you'd get money for it. <laughs> But even with an art scholarship, she began singing a different tune at Tulsa University. She was asked to take over a radio show called Meeting Patty Page, which is how she got the name. Jack Rail, who was still my manager and partner, came through Tulsa, heard the radio show I was doing, which I did my last three years of high school. And um, I guess he planted the seed of maybe I could go somewhere other than Tulsa. And that was my first... Um, awakening to maybe there was something out there, but I was not sure what it was or where it was. <laughs> it was just one year later in 1947 that Patty revolutionized the record industry with Confess, the first song ever to use the effect of overdubbing. Jack got the idea of my doing uh, the echo voice on Confess, and uh, although the song was not a big uh, seller for me, uh, it got my name to the disc jockeys, and uh, they recognized the name of Patty Page after that when a record came in. I remember the night and the Tennessee walls. Soon, Patty would be recognized from coast to coast. To date, Tennessee Waltz has sold more than 8 million copies, the biggest selling single ever, next to Bing Crosby's White Christmas. Patty continued to spin a host of hits, which brought her the celebrated status she enjoyed when critics deemed her a singing rage. She took that status to even greater heights. 75 hit singles, three television series, and several feature films filled other chapters in Patty's incredible career. Honored by her native state, Oklahoma, with Patty Page Day, she is and always will be a musical legend. Every day went into another day, <laughs> and all of a sudden I turned around and all these years have gone by. Knowing you think of me Once in a while Page, carrying her tune as far as it'll go. How does this comedian tickle a woman's fancy? David is a very attractive man, and he's got incredible sex appeal. Next. 